Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about enabling Wake on LAN client notification within SCCM 1810. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is open up your SCCM console. You want to click on administration. Within administration, go inside site configuration, expand it, go inside sites, you know, locate your site, right click on it, go to properties. Within properties, you're going to go inside a wake on LAN tab and just enable it. From here, you're going to specify the wake up packets. Microsoft is recommending to use subnet directed broadcast, so check that off. And if you're wondering what are the difference between these two, uh, this is what Microsoft has stated within their site. Okay, I will provide this information at the bottom of the video, so don't worry about it. Okay. But this is the one that they are indicating the subnet directed broadcast that has a higher success rate than unicast. Okay. Next thing you could do is click on advance. By default, I'm going to leave everything as is within my testing environment. But you are able to play around with the numbers to suit your environment. Then press OK. And then from here, go to ports. From here, you have Wake on LAN, uh, which is port 9. Make sure you talk to your network administrator so they can open up that port within your firewall and your network. Uh, click on apply, okay, and that's it. Once your wake on LAN is enabled, if you go inside your Microsoft Configuration Manager logs folder, you're going to see two new log files. So that's pretty cool. This right here will track what's going on, okay? Now, if you want to test it out, you go inside your assets and compliance, go to overview, devices, locate one of your computers, right click on it, and then from here, go to client notification and then do wake up. Got to make sure the machine is enabled to do wake on LAN, okay? I haven't tested this out as of yet because I don't have any machines uh, that I could test it on. Uh, the majority of my testing lab is all virtual machines. So hopefully you guys could test this out within an actual lab uh, let me know how it goes at the bottom in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.